Friends, today is uh, Thursday, May 30, 2024. And as we head to the end of this wonderful month of May, we are finishing off the last week of our series of stress tests, looking at the ways in which the Bible uh, responds to the problem of stress in our lives. And some of that stress comes from being in the battle, representing Jesus in the different spheres of our life, in our work life, in our family life, in our neighborhoods, uh, in all the places that God calls us to be. Uh, and we're assured that there's a blessing in that. And part of it is that it's it when we do have s certain kinds of opposition, it indicates to us that we're on the right path, that we're doing something important, that the evil one will, will want to uh, get at us a little bit, that, that those who are, are pushing other ways of life that are less life-giving or are life-sapping will come out against us. And so um, it can be an indication we're tracking in the right path. But there's a second blessing as well that I want to address today that comes through uh, persecution and difficulty in our lives. Let me read to you from Romans 5, 3 through 5. Paul says, not only that, but we boast in our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance. Endurance, in turn, produces character. And character produces hope. Hope does not put us to shame. Hope, hope has an indestructible quality to it. Because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been giving to us. A second blessing of persecution is that it clarifies our identity and purpose. It brings a certain clarity to our lives. Um, as we endure persecution or criticism or opposition, it is developing our characters. The things we endure increase our capacity for endurance. Um, it's, it's like building your muscle in the gym. You have resistance and um, you you, your muscles are put under pressure, and that's how they grow stronger and develop more uh, stamina. In the same way, um, the things we endure increase our capacity for endurance. And what, it, what, what can happen over time is that trials produce virtues, which are aspects of our, of, our, of our soul and our will and our outlook. Habits, these are um, ways that we order our lives and practices and disciplines that shape us. Our faith moves from shallow and self-serving to deeper and more centered on God's will and others' needs. This often is what happens in persecution. Our attitudes are refined and our backs stiffened. As we walk the harder roads and identify with our Lord, we know more clearly who we are in Him. I wonder if uh, trouble has ever clarified your faith or affirmed your identity. If so, give thanks for those moments today. Let's pray. Gracious God, help us to remember that difficult times endured for your sake can shape our hearts and our souls, developing stronger virtues and clearer vision. May that happen for each of us in the hard times. We pray this in your son's name. Amen.